This is our 1986 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme four-door sedan. So this video will cover a few different things. First off, give you a very slow-paced walk around to the car, and following that, there'll be some clips of the interior as well. So cosmetic condition, you'll note those two dings on the driver's side of the hood. Paint looks really sharp, very, very minor signs of age. Um, we do think it's original paint throughout, with the white pinstripe looks really sharp. The car has 68,000 miles on it. You'll see a pretty good paint blemish here on the driver front fender corner. You can see how the light reflects off it there. Uh, up close, best described as a spider web of the finish. Not a dent, a spider web of the finish. Uh, so the car was actually built in Canada, built in Quebec, uh, sold new in Minnesota. The gentleman that we bought the car from had had it for 33 years. He bought it in 1987 when the car was one year old and had 14,000 miles on it. Kept it in really, really, really nice shape. Uh, most impressive part of the car is underneath it. So definitely take a look through those photos and seeing the condition of a non-undercoated Minnesota car that looks that good just uh, tells you what kind of owner it had. But a couple little dings in the lower body. You can see one there on the uh, driver door. Trim pieces are all really nice. Weather stripping is totally intact, not dry and crumbled. Again, a couple little door dings there on the quarter. Glass is all clear and crack free. Uh, bumpers are in really nice shape. You know, no oxidation. That badge from Miller Little Profit is the uh, the dealer it was sold new through in Minnesota. You can see a couple little nicks on the trunk lid. Look to be storage related. Really, really dry car. You can see the corners of the windscreen, um, the, all the bottom, you know, lower corners, no bubbling at all. Very, very dry. The wheels are in nice shape, no damage or curb rash. The tires are good as well, no dry rot, though I'm not sure how old they are, so would recommend replacing them sooner rather than later. But the panel fitment is spot on throughout. Doors open and close, nice and smooth, no slamming. car runs and drives really, really, really well. It's the 3.8 liter 6, obviously an automatic, but the ride quality is great. Really feels every bit as good as you'd hope from a sub 70,000 mile survivor. Car is effortlessly smooth, silent at speed, very cushy. Out of the interior, as I mentioned, roll up windows. The radio is functional, sounds great. The heat and fan are good. Air conditioning is still on R12 refrigerant. Uh, and the compressor does kick on, but it does not blow cold. The dash top is super, super nice, no cracks. You can see the wood finish is just looks fresh. Uh, not, not tired or faded or anything like that. Headliner is clean and tight. Sun visors are in good shape, they hold their position. That's the original carpet, still plush with a vibrant color. Car will come with two floor mats, uh, color matched burgundy. You can see the seats, it is a corduroy cloth with vinyl along the sides. Really, really impressive shape. I mean, no punctures, no scuffs, no sun fade. The interior has been absolutely babied. The sills are clean, the plastic trim along the door lines is very good. Clearly a very well taken care of car.